And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Everyone loves football. Okay, not everybody, but lots of people like football. And to be clear, I am talking about American-style football. Today we're talking about a game from r, r Games called First and Goal. Now, I'm always wary of football games because most of them are not that good. They're either too complex and don't feel like a football game, or they just don't make any sense at all. Um, the, the best football game to date that I played is Pizza Box Football because that did it right. It just simplified it. You rolled dice, had fun, and it felt like a football game. Well, is that what First and Goal does? Let's see. So here's the game. It takes place on a board here, and you have this little magnetic football that you will be moving back and forth. And you have, uh, this is here to determine where you need to get your first yard line. Now I'm gonna assume that if you're watching this, you know the rules to American football, because if you don't, you'll probably be completely lost. But many people, many people know the rules for those. So here we go. Now I'm not gonna go over every single rule in the game, but the game is gonna revolve around these different colored dice that you have. Uh, there's a black defensive die, which has negative numbers on it, and then you have other dice here, uh, and each of these dice is used for different plays, and you can see that some dice are shorter. For example, this red die has 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, and 5, while this green die has 10, 10, 12, 14, and 16. So that's a much cooler, better die to roll, but you're going to roll different dice in different situations. And so several of these situations are down here. You can see for a kickoff return, you'll roll a red, white, brown, and blue, and a play die, a special play die. For a field goal, you'll roll the four dice underneath that for an onside kick, for punt and return, etc. Now, the way a regular game is going to take place is it's going to, you have two decks in the game. You have an offensive deck and a defensive deck. Now the offensive deck is more important. When the offensive deck runs out of cards, then the game is half over. You'll shuffle it and play through it again because you're gonna run through offensive cards faster. The reason for that is, is you're gonna be picking different plays from your hand and discarding them, but whenever you play a running play, you will discard an extra card to show that running plays take more time off the clock. Uh, so then you'll go through the deck. Now what you'll have is you're gonna have a handful of eight cards on your turn. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eighth card, and you have different plays. So for example, here I have a button hook, a short pass, short pass, uh, half back dive, short pass, full back strong, RP option, slant, and another full, full back strong. And so I have these different options. Now, these 10 here means I cannot use those plays within the 10 yard line, but that's really not a problem here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to pick a play here. So I say, okay, uh, I'm gonna, the, the neat thing about this game is, if you notice this board has four lines on it, and what you're going to do is, this is first down, and when it's second down it's over here, and third down over here, and fourth down, that way I can always remember which down it is as I move it up and down the yard line. And so, on my turn I'm gonna pick a play. So I'm starting this off and I'll say, okay, I'll start with a, a short pass, that makes sense to play that. Meanwhile, the defensive player also has eight cards, so here he has uh, a dime, a corner blitz, prevent, dime, strong safety, inside blitz, cover to spy, and prevent. So he's going to start out with a dime because he suspects that I'm going to throw in the first turn. So these are the two cards that we play. Now they look confusing, but it's not. On a short pass card, I look for dime, which you see at the bottom shows a, the black defensive die and the play die. And on the dime, I look up short pass and it shows the same thing. So you can see each play has different results depending on which play the opponent rolled. So I roll my play die and he rolls his black die. So I made a yard on the play. Great. Usually the black, the defensive die takes away yards. And in fact, some plays, for example, if someone had played the dime on the bomb, I would have to roll the defensive die twice. But I also rolled this turnover, this, this play die. This is rolled on every single play. And the six different sides have different meanings. If you roll an X, basically the play fails, no matter what. If you roll a Hail, or if you roll a Mary, uh, those don't do anything. Okay, they're nothing. They're used for a special, if you try to roll a Hail Mary play at some point in the future. If you roll this, you've broken away, and you get to roll the dice again. And you can, if, you can, if you roll this again, you'll keep rolling the dice again. 
If you roll a P, there's a possibility of a penalty. And then in that case, you'll need to roll this penalty die. And there's a 1-6 chance that the penalty is on the offense and a 1-6 chance that the penalty is on the defense. Otherwise, there's no penalty at all. And this means there's a possible turnover. And again, I'll roll this die to see if there is a turnover. Now, if there's a penalty, I have a special penalty die to show that. If, the, if there's a turnover, there's a special rules for that. But mostly, other than that, we then roll the dice, advance the ball, go to second down, and continue on. Again, if you forget what the different uh, things on the play dice mean, you can see that it shows you here that there's a potential penalty and what happens if you do it on a punt. When players are trying to kick or punt or field goal, they have a chance to play a fake punt or, a, uh, or just a real kick. And depending on if the defense played fake and the, or kick, different things happen. But that's essentially how the game works. We have markers to keep score, and there's also timeouts. But timeouts are different in this game. You can discard your whole hand with a timeout and draw a new one, or you can name a specific play and go through your deck and draw that specific play. And there's other rules for interceptions and different things like that, but for the most part, that's the basic rules of the game. The game also comes with something that explains all the plays to you, if you care about that, and also you can buy many expansion packs that have specific teams. Now these are made up teams, like the Reapers and the Paladins and the Savages, but those teams will replace these color dice and the defensive die with different color dice and different defensive dice to show those teams strength and weaknesses. You might have a team that's really good on defense, but not nearly good at, at all in passing and so on. And so that's the way the game is. The game takes about an hour to play, uh, depending on how fast you play through the cards and you know how what happens during the course of the game. And football scores normally come out of this game. By that I mean you don't see anything like 130 to, to 4, but you'll see actual real football scores or something akin to them. First and goal is a really, really good football game. Now, I mean, if you don't like football, I don't think you're going to be brought in to play this. This is for people who are already fans of the game, but it does it well. Now, I haven't yet tried it with the expansion teams, but I'm very eager to do so because I really like to see how that changes up the game. Uh, the, the game plays very quickly, it's simple, and I like the fact that there's a certain number of plays and then that's it. You're just going to attack the other uh, offense and defense, and it, I can make an offside kick, I can... I can um, punt, I can do a touchback, there's all different things. All the basic maneuvers in football are here in the basic plays. So, and then all you have to do is switch out the dice for expansions. It just is great. The component with the little football moving it from uh, column to column for what down it is, that's a little tiny thing but ingenious because it makes the game work well. And the game plays very smoothly and fast. You don't have to look up charts, you just put down cards and roll dice. And because of that, I'm going to say, and I hesitate to say this, but I think this is my favorite football game I've played. I do like pizza box football a lot, but pizza box football I had to keep referring to charts. Here I don't have to look at a chart, we just roll dice and compare the two cards. It's a little better, it's a little simpler, and it's certainly colorful and nice. Um, ugh, you know, because I almost want to do a comparison between the two games. They're probably, they're both very good games, but I don't need two football games, and so I think this one would win, especially because of the expansion teams bringing in more dice. Although that can get pricey, that would be a negative thing. Getting the extra dice could be expensive to buy the other teams. Still, if someone says, hey, do you have any game about football? This would be the first one I'd bring out. Yeah, you can't play the Philadelphia Eagles or the Dallas Cowboys, but you can play uh, the Toronto Thunder and the Springfield Spartans. So, hey, it's fun, it's football, it's fast, it's good for two players. The four-player rules, I don't like that. You know, one person's offense, the other person's defense. Waste of time, really, because you sit there for half the game doing nothing. But for two people, this is an absolute gem. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at funagain.com.